We had a couple, they were both retired, and they had a 1970 Plymouth Superbird in Richard Petty Blue, stuck in this garage, and he had bought it brand new in 1970. But he was so in love with this car, he actually joined the um, Superbird Club, and he had every written letter for every month of the club over 50 years. So when he brought us that car, it was just a time capsule. Amazing that this is a one owner still on the original title. But I think feather in my cap was that he trusted us with that car. What we've been able to put together is a clear cut package for a customer to bring their car in for a small fee up front. What we do is we take care of everything from start to finish. We can handle everything, you know, and that's the thing I think people really do enjoy about our business is that you know, they drop the car off, they fill out some paperwork, and within a week or so, their car's online and looking like a million bucks. You know, it's fully detailed, it's you know, professional photographs are taken of it. It doesn't matter if it's a brand new car or if it's a car from the 40s or 50s. We're going to take those exact same shots on each one of those vehicles. And then we take all these nice underneath shots of the car so that people can see you know, what, what it looks like underneath. And then it's getting out to the market throughout the whole world. We're not just focused on here in Grand Rapids or a store in Detroit or a store up in Traverse City. We're focused completely on the world market. You know, we've got the ability to handle, you know, the unique transactions with clients, um, you know, and be able to work with, you know, shipping needs or financing, or if they have a trade in themselves that they need to take care of, we can do all that for them. Our business model is pretty much bring cars in on a local level, sell them on a national level. We sell on an average of about 90% of our sales leave the state of Michigan, 30% of that goes overseas. Between all three locations currently, we're bringing in about 50 to 60 cars a month, and our sell-through rate is about 90 to 92 percent. So, not too many cars have to go home. You know, we have currently over 350 cars in stock on consignment, and uh, of those, we have personal relationship that we've been able to build with these customers. That you know, some people it's their pride and joy, something that they've built from ground up full restoration they put you know countless hours and time into it and then we do get customers you know they inherit it from grandma and grandpa or you know just a car they bought on a whim a couple years ago thought it'd be fun to have a muscle car or an antique vehicle to go to car shows and you know they kind of got sick of it and uh, so we get a unique uh, conversation with each customer that comes into the door and it's always been a fun experience to see that. Our audience is wide. It's not just the upper class that are looking to buy the most best and beautiful, although we do have that as well, but it really covers you know, the entire spectrum of any auto enthusiast in the country that, that's available to step into the market. You know, when people bring us their car, they trust us with their product and, they, and they're, they're counting on us to do a good job for them. And uh, we really strive to do that on a daily basis. You never know what's actually gonna come in from day to day. We have a theory here, the weirder the better. The more unique the car, the, the, the more unique the story. Um, there are people that are looking for vehicles like that and, um, and we expose them to the large market and we find the guy. Our business is based on that simple fact of, you know, you want to sell your car, everyone thinks they're capable of doing it, just like everyone thinks they're capable of selling their own house. Oh, it's easy, I know everything about it, I can facilitate it. But at the end of the day, you need to use a professional because they're going to get you top dollar. They're going to provide so much more items to the sale and to the process than you could ever do yourself. And yeah, he's going to pay a little bit of fees up front or, you know, it's going to cost some money to do it. But at the end of the day, you're walking away with it with a lot less time and effort and potentially more money in your pocket than you would have if you did it yourself. We take away and act as that middleman so that you don't have to worry about where it's going, who's getting the car, and uh, what's going to ever happen to that car. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to get you as much money in your hand as possible. And we, so by doing that, we have to be flexible on how we're going to sell that car to the end user. And it could go overseas, it could go to a guy that wants to run in the track, we don't know, but we're going to get you top dollar for your car.